your childhood dream. Haven't you always wanted to be in an enclosed space with a trench? Oh my god, you're so right. Oh. Hi, Peachy. You are not allowed. <laughs> Curly in the sun, a blanket. She's so stoked that I'm on the floor. Dude, I'm sweating, can you tell? I just started sweating like a few minutes ago. But the first, oh my God. Jeez, the first 20 minutes. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Peaches, uh-uh. Oh no. <laughs> you are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. Wow. This is pretty bad. In my defense, the opposite side of this closet looks very much the same. The nice thing about filming a YouTube video is that it really does motivate a person to do things so they can film those things. Here I am, now finally cleaning my closet, which I've been avoiding for the last three weeks. And just like that, we're back to normal. I'm not sure if I've talked about these hangers, but they are quite possibly the best thing I have ever purchased for my closet, and it's helped me to save so much room. Because of this gap, you just pull them off instead of having to like, you know? The other thing I found is that I was using normal hangers to store my jeans, and everything was kind of set lower because the bar on the hangers were lower than these. And so I couldn't really see any of this. I'm going to link these for you, but I have fully replaced all of mine and Vanessa's hangers to match this. He's got his. I just recently got my hands on this breath taking dress. It's by Jason Wu and I found this dress on ThreadUp and I literally could not believe it because it is just such a gorgeous concept taking sort of like this business cut, business style dress and just adding like the most interesting and edgy detail to it that goes all the way around. I'm obsessed. For any of you that are unfamiliar with ThreadUp, it is an online consignment and thrift store. It is my favorite way to thrift online because they make it so easy for you. It's like as if someone is sort through all the racks, pulling out pieces based on what color you're looking for, what size you're looking for, what brand you're looking for. Doing that in person, sometimes it happens within the first 10 minutes of you looking through racks. Sometimes it takes two hours. Today's video is sponsored by ThreadUp and I'm excited to talk about a new feature of theirs that I have been using lately. It's called Thrift the Look and when you click on the page, you can sort through all these different curated outfits by occasion or you can just scroll through all of them. Once you land on one that you like, click on that outfit and you can go through, tap on every single item within that outfit, and ThreadUp will find you similar items to what is pictured. This feature is so iconic. I had so much fun shopping through this feature because it allowed me to find things that I wasn't searching for automatically. It's such a great way to pull inspiration and think outside of the box in terms of, all right, these are the sorts of things that I'm looking out for. I recreated two looks from their Thrift the Look feature, the first one being this adorable summer casual I just happened to be in New York vibe. Here's my recreation of that outfit. For starters, I found this Banana Republic tank top and it's got ruching right at the front. This top is in absolute perfect condition. It was estimated at $35 and I got it for $10.99. I paired this shirt with some white denim jeans, which I don't own. I've been looking for a good pair of white jeans that's the right fit, the right length. So these jeans are from Current Elliott, estimated at $190 and I got 
got these for $29.99 on ThreadUp. I was so excited when I found this bag and genuinely I don't think I ever would have found this if I didn't shop through this feature. I'm so in love with the braided detailing that goes all the way across to the other side along the bottom of the bag. It's by Kenneth Cole and it's just got that worn in beat up vintage leather vibe. It was estimated at $119. I got it for $36. $6.99. The little tassels, are you kidding me? How did I manage to find strappy heels that are in my size, match the outfit perfectly? There is a two-tone situation happening right here with the double strap, so it is red and sort of this like sunset orange. These heels are from Dolce & Cabana. These are estimated at $420 and I scored them for $91.99. My next goal was to lock down an evening look. I went for this inspiration photo. I wanted to find something that was sexy, warm, Warm toned. I also don't own any sort of black like clasp clutches, so I knew that I was gonna find a good one. I <laughs> this dress. The second I saw it, it reminded me of my mom's style so much. I love the draped neckline and just the multi-layer detail that is happening. It's just so beautiful and intricate. This dress is by Diane von Furstenberg, which is definitely one of my favorite designers to look up on ThreadUp. Originally estimated at $395. I got it for $72.99. You guys, I mean, how precious is this clutch. I also didn't realize that it had a long chain attached to it until I started filming the try on clip and I opened it and I was like, fuck yeah. The beading is so beautiful. This clutch is from La Regal, I believe is how you pronounce it. Estimated at $22 and I got this for $15.99. Lastly, I wanted to find some little peep toe heels that were simple, black, matched with the look. I found these guys. I actually love what's happening right here at the top where it sort of splits into three sections. They're by Maripe and they're estimated at $45. I got them for $21.99. Let's go back to the first dress. This was not inspired by any outfit, but I just found it while I was perusing. I just think this is so gorgeous. I can't wait to wear this. This was the priciest thing that I got. It is estimated at $595 and I got it for $203.99. I mean, truly, nothing more to say, nothing more. It's beautiful. If you guys would like to get 30% off of your first order on ThreadUp and free shipping, all you have to do is use my code which is Claudia, and of course I will have the link down below, all the info in the description box. Thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. You guys know how much I love working with you. Once again, we ate, absolutely killed it. We've got a full renovation happening in our backyard right now. Most of the work that's being done is happening along the studio. So along this wall, this wall, and also over here. As you can see, a trench has been built on all three sides. It's all being done to prevent water damage in the studio since it is half underground. There's a pipe that they're building along the bottom of the trench as well where the water feeds into and then it's able to spit out versus just getting submerged into the ground. And they're also like lining all the walls with all of these materials and everything. It's been a whole operation, but since that had to be done. I've been wanting to redo this patio ever since we moved because it's just clearly been a very long time since it's been updated. It's basically just concrete that they drew lines through and painted red or terracotta colored at some point, but it's been so long that water and sun has just bleached it into this kind of spotty, muted pink. We picked out some bright, orangey terracotta tiles that are going to be laid over this. Right now we've got sort of an upper area that feeds into this lower patio area and we're instead going to extend all of this and once it reaches about here we'll have a single step. <laughs> I want to extend the lowest level on this side just so that the higher step can be lined up with this hot tub. It's sort of hard to describe. I'll put up a a mock-up of kind of what I'm thinking. This step we had here before wasn't up to code, so I think everything is being brought up to either halfway or this line right here. We will also be widening these stairs to maybe about here and redoing the railing 
obviously because that's dangerous. All the dirt from the trench we are going to be laying out and leveling out our yard because we have a pretty steep hill right here. What is she doing? <laughs> she, oh! There she goes. Go, 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 go! Look at her go. Cute. So far it's taken about four weeks, I think, from start date to where we are right now. So on most days it's jackhammering and saw sounds, all sorts of construction noise. I feel really bad actually. I feel like it's never fun to be the neighbor that has construction happening because it's just so loud. The drawings that I have been mocking up on my iPad, <laughs> I just get really really into it because I'm so visual that it's it's best for me to describe things visually and also see them for myself. Another home project that I've been working on is re-landscaping our front yard because right now it's fine. It's mostly grass. We want to turn it into a desert garden to save up water. We never really sit in our front yard. Peaches never really uses it, so it's sort of a waste of water to have that grass getting watered every single day. We're also going to redo the pathway because right now it's sort of the same vibe where it's made out of concrete and sort of drawn in to look like rock, but it looks more chuggy than tasteful. <laughs> oh, you're not on the phone. I thought she was on the phone. No, I'm, I'm filming on the camera. So here's what we're working with right now. There's a few succulents happening, as you can see, mostly grass. The inspiration is definitely Mediterranean, something like this. How beautiful, right? When it comes to anything home related, I am so particular about every single decision that is made. Here's the inspiration for the pathway. It's essentially what our current one is trying to mimic. So finding large kind of beige gray slabs and having them close together. You can even see that I sort of drew it out on a photo of our lawn because that is how much time I clearly have on my hands. I actually don't have that much time on my hands. I don't know why this is something I went so hard on. These are the plants that I'm thinking of. So lots of shrubs, succulents, and these little grassy guys. I don't know what they're called. Russian sage is really beautiful. We're thinking of doing a little stone or pot fountain just to sort of drown out the car noise and moving water just sounds so relaxing and beautiful. And I've always loved the look of these kind of old, rustic, worn down fountains. And also having lots of large stones throughout. And then lastly, pots. I love a good terracotta pot. The older the better. Then I just started having lots of fun with my iPad. If you give me Procreate, I could spend hours. We are thinking about reimagining our breakfast room because right now we just have this circle tile table, which technically is an outdoor table. So we're thinking of bringing that outside, finding just more ways for storage because that room, we just, we are not utilizing it as best as we could. And so we're thinking of doing some sort of like custom cabinetry that reaches is all the way from the ceiling to the floor and we just in general have no pantry space in our kitchen our cabinets are so old everything is really shallow we have like one shelf basically designated to pantry space this is what i spent <laughs> way too much time doing yesterday I'm thinking of doing like a breakfast nook kind of like a little l booth in the right hand corner here's a version where the cabinets would be black but I'm up in any color, honestly. We love this home so much, and I'm so excited that we are deciding to do these mini renovations and really perfecting this home because as much as I'm obsessed with this home, there are so many choices that previous owners have made where, I don't know, leaves, leaves me curious. Even down to like some of the Spanish tile, there's a version of Spanish tile that is beautiful and feels original, and there's also a version of Spanish tile that looks like this and our house has a lot of this sort of tile. So I think as we continue the interior stuff, we're gonna be looking at like changing up the floors as well because we do have a lot of that very chuggy Pinterest target looking tile. This is my favorite thing ever. This, this is my side hobby.
brownies. This weekend has been so sweet. Was so sweet, it's now Monday morning. Anytime anyone visits, whether it's a weekday or not, it feels like a weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Bringing it back full circle to thread up. If any of you guys want to thrift online and try it out, be sure to use my code Claudia. That will get you 30% off and free shipping. And I will see you guys for a new video very soon. I'm gonna go walk on the beach and enjoy the rest of my day. <laughs> see you later, bye.